Howdy, it's Tubal Kane, and I'm here with uh, video two of uh, what is the mystery tool. And this is the answer part of it. If you haven't seen the question part, re uh, refer to the previous uh, video. But I guess I made this video uh, way too easy because just about everybody had the answer. And uh, you were right, it is a lathe center tester. And here's three different versions of it. This is the one that I showed in the video, and then that's a Sterrett, and it's a Sterrett uh, number 65 center tester, and that's the brown and sharp version, and it's called uh, a lathe test indicator number 736, and here's one I made years ago before I even knew that they made a commercially one. I think I saw the plans in Popular Science or something, but it... They all work in the same manner, which I'm going to show you here presently. This is a couple pages out of the 1938 Sterrett catalog, and there's a description of the tool, and here's some examples of how it is to be used. And I'll show you that on the lathe just very briefly. The Stara tool in the last picture was $4.75. This is the 1941 Brown and Sharp tool catalog, and they call it again the 736 uh, lathe test indicator, and that was $5.25. But I suppose that was a lot of money at the time when people were earning less than a dollar an hour. And if anybody is interested in reading the description, there it is. You can pause your, your video. I'm at the Atlas lathe now, and this is the Sterrett version, but the brown and sharp one would work exactly the same, only they have a different type of springing system. This uses a leaf spring right here. And I brought the uh, tip of the indicator into a center punch hole, and this, let's just pretend that I'm setting up this flat work here in order to uh, uh, bore a hole, and I've laid out that hole, and there might be other holes very accurately, and I want it truly on center. And it's not much different now than uh, uh, centering work in a four-jaw chuck. Although, again, it could be a faceplate rather than a four-jaw chuck. I brought the uh, carriage up against the work so that the tip of this pointer is in the center punch uh, mark with a little pressure against it uh, with the aid of this spring. And as I rotate uh, the chuck with my hand, now I'm going to swing the camera around so you can see what's happening on the tailstock end. And let me get that can out of the way. And you can see that I'm not on center. And then I would just proceed to uh, uh, reset the four jaw chuck until this ran truly on center. And the longer the rod is, the more the error is amplified. And there's an extension on the one uh, for the brown and sharp, so that uh, you really would get it very close uh, with this system. But it's an archaic tool that is probably never used anymore. The brown and sharp came with uh, several different rods, and one of them has a, a, like a hook on the end, and that can be used for indicating holes. Stare it, on the other hand, included a ball. It could fit on the end of the rod, as you see in this picture. But that thing was probably lost by 1947, so I'm going to have to substitute uh, for the ball. I was looking around my shop for a, a ball with a hole in it, and I got all kinds of ball bearings, but of course they're hardened, so I can't drill a hole in them. You know, I gave my wife this for our uh, 40th anniversary, this pearl necklace. Or this is the bracelet. It came with a necklace too. It was quite costly, but I don't. I think she thinks it's too gaudy to wear. I never have seen her wear it very much. So I thought I'd use one of these cultured pearls here as the ball because it's got already got a hole in it. By the way, there were some pretty comical answers. Uh, keep that up uh, if you can do something or say something clever. Uh, one man mentioned something about a, a medical instrument that uh, scared him so much in the doctor's office that he walked out. You know, we all feel that way when he comes in with some 
uh, Frankenstein uh, uh, instrument. Okay, now I've got the ball, or the pearl if you will, into a hole in a piece of brass that I would be pretending to uh, center. And as I rotate the chuck, the other end, of course, is going to wobble. I think they call this a wobble stick sometimes. And uh, I would proceed to uh, set the three-jaw chuck until the center uh, aligned perfectly with the uh, pointed rod. And that's, again, the whole principle of it. Note that with the brown and sharp version, the spring is inside of this barrel here. Rather than using a leaf spring, this looks really a little more refined than the Starrett version. Okay, that concludes this video, and uh, I hope you found it of uh, some interest, even though it was way too easy, or else you guys are way too smart. I'll try to come up with something a little better in the uh, future videos, but... Uh, they may not always be machinist tools. They're just going to be uh, uh, items that uh, may be difficult to identify. I hope I can find some in the shop. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.